All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is uh, lab equipment. First off, we have the beaker tongs, and you'll notice it has the little rubber ends on the end of it so that you can grasp a beaker and it won't slip out of your grip. Next, we have the regular tongs. These do not have the rubber ends. <clears throat> I'm holding in my hand a meter stick, and if you look closely, you'll notice that it is in metric, that is centimeters, and the other side also has millimeters. Another piece of equipment that we might use is this. Some people used to call it the medicine bowl, but it's actually known as a mortar and pestle. Okay. Let's see here. Next, we have the hot plate. Uh, you simply plug this in and it will slowly heat uh, whatever substance you place on top of it. Here, is a test tube rack. As you can see, if I find a test tube, uh, I simply could set the test tube upside down to uh, dry on it, or some of the test tubes will actually fit in the holder. This is a reminder to all staff members, if you haven't had your picture taken yet by the McCarty's, you need to do so this morning. Thank you. Here is yet another example of a test tube rack. And this, of course, is your trusty old test tube. What a fluttered work area we got here. This is the triple beam balance. If you look closely, You'll notice that there are three beams, one, two, and three, uh, and they measure various weights. Uh, that measurement's, of course, in grams, which is the metric measurement that we use to measure mass in science. Right here we have a slide for a microscope, microscope slide, um, and along with this goes a cover slip, which is a small square piece of plastic that you can place over the top. Let's get a good look at this. A small square piece of plastic that will go over the top of the specimen that you're looking at. This tiny little thing is actually a test tube holder. We can pick up a test tube simply like that. This tiny little glass rod is known as a stirring rod. <clears throat> we usually use this to help pour some type of liquid or guide a liquid into another container. So if I were pouring a liquid from my beaker into my Erlmeyer flask, I would simply pour it down the rod and the water would or substance would follow down the rod. <clears throat> Which leads us to our next one, the beaker. Uh, we have several different sizes of beaker. This is actually a 200 millimeter milliliter, excuse me, and it, there's one larger and there's one smaller. Here's the larger one, 500 milliliters. And I'm not seeing a smaller one right now, but there is a 50 milliliter beaker.
right here, this giant uh, looks kind of like a contact, is actually known as a watch glass. This is a watch glass. <clears throat> this object here is a petri dish a petri dish if we're ever growing something or we want to keep the outside um, outside we could put a substance inside the petri dish the old scientific thermometer Notice it's measuring using degrees Celsius, degrees Celsius on this measuring device to measure temperature. <clears throat> the Bunsen burner can be plugged in and gas will run through this hose and when you release the valve or open the valve it will then come out the top and we can light it to uh, start a small fire to heat objects or substances right here these trusty little tweezer looking things are known as forceps this is the forceps Yes, we have a hot glove. You may have seen your mom or father pulling out dishes from uh, or pans from the oven with one of these. We also like to protect our hands from extremely hot or cold items, and we may be wearing a glove like this at times. Here is a graduated cylinder, a graduated cylinder. This is a very small one for measuring, uh, of course, very small amounts. Uh, we could use it to measure volume, and uh, it does. it is labeled in milliliters. This is 10 milliliters, and we can move up to a little bit larger one, and this one you probably can't see is 50 milliliters. And we could even move up to a larger one. This gigantic thing can measure up to 1,000 milliliters. Okay, the next thing would be our little pipette. This is a pipette. Uh, you'll notice the large end and then a very skinny straw looking end on the other way. <clears throat> right here. Whoa. This is known as a simple microscope. Simple microscope. And of course, we also have a compound microscope. <clears throat> this trusty device is known as a test tube rack. Or, excuse me, not a test tube rack. This is a ring stand. Uh, but we can use it to hold a test tube, perhaps hold a test tube uh, over a Bunsen burner if we lifted it up a little bit higher, or over some other type of object that we need to hold it over. <clears throat> this is the Erlmeyer flask, and we have several different sizes of the Erlmeyer flask. Again. And this is the Florence flask. The difference, you'll notice, the Erlmeyer, Erlmeyer, sounding like a male's name, looks kind of like a tie. And the Florence flask, well, it's kind of got a bubbly butt on it. So, Florence, Erlmeyer. And that concludes session one of Lab Equipment.